I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to our second statewide lobby day. And uh, we're going to have a few speakers here. And then uh, we have to vacate this room at 1 p.m. So we're going to go outside and do a quick um, pipe ceremony at that point. And then uh, we'll come back in and lobby. And we'll have a display table from uh, 1 to 3 p.m. in the uh, first floor rotunda, 1 to 4 up. And uh, so we'll start things off today. We're very honored to have with us again a good friend, uh, Al Baker, from the Ojibwe tribe. So honored to be here this morning. First of all, let me say, and I'm Hello, my relatives. My name is Goodhart. Uh, I'm from the Star Nation Cat Clan. I am recognized as a Golden Eagle. The spirits of the country is the little people they work with. And um, I know that our time is short, but it's very important. I come to Mo, the La Clure Ojibwe Indian Reservation, and I am just one voice of many. I am just a simple man. But what I do remember is the, the great strength that I felt when um, I worked with my elders, and they, they allowed me to learn about these, these sacred tools. Oh, Today, the Creator gave us a great day. It was beautiful. It's a little chilly outside, but He gave us the breath of life. And we're not going to go into battle today. We're going to search today for an answer to resolve conflicts that face the human population today. So today I loaded with my pipe of love. And that love that I put into that pipe will send out into the universe and will pray so that it touches your heart and your mind and the mind of all the people who are here today in this building, our leaders. We will pray for our leaders so that their hearts are open and their minds are open, that they understand that we are here and we mean only love and respect for them. And we hope that through this surrender of our own selves to not be involved in conflict, to not be involved in the battle, that we offer ourselves in peace so that the Creator can have mercy on us and that the Creator who has the ultimate responsibility for resolving the issues that are before us as a human race. And that is to be able to live off the land, to be able to gather without the conflict that arises from the use of certain plants and medicines. And not specifically any one, but there are 404 known plants and medicines that can help humanity and the human race at this time. People are struggling to find answers to the problems that plague us involving foods and diseases that may not have cures. Well, out there on that land, the Creator made this earth so that the humans, through their own effort, can discover what it is that will strengthen their immune system. Because when the Creator made you, He made every cell in you perfect. And with that perfection came protection. And with these sacred tools that we will use today, we're going to ask for that protection to help strengthen the spirit, this physical body here that we have to work with. Without the strength of those medicines and the spirit, we get ill. Human beings get sick. They get cancer. They get diabetes. They, they, have, they are not allowed to empower their own minds, let alone their own hearts, which is really the vehicle we need to listen to most often. So enough said. We're going to sing a song that will allow that spirit to come here. <coughs> the words to the song say, Creator, please send the light of that thunderbird here to the sacred place. So... Oh, 
Thunder Beam song, we asked for the light of that creator to come here. And they're going to come here and stand and listen to your prayers. They're going to go around and check everybody else out too. Uh, this may appear to be kind of crazy, but it's an intuitive feeling I 